talking about at any given time she's always been there for me she gave me somewhere at the time when she was going through a rough patch i helped her out to go live with her but she was also helping me get off the day bed because i didn't have no more room and that two bed room so i was like sit here say girl you can come live with me your own room everything i said yes indeed you ain't gonna be in the project i got my own room and all that i moved over six and me and i have been close ever since and my baby didn't take my place, but I named it, her. and even though she didn't christen Riley, she's still Riley named it, and she did share everything, and she treat them the same. Anything she get ready for, she get Riley. She's great to, you know, that's always been our diva. She's always been our diva. I think I know what it says. The life brings, and she's still the same. Oh, here. And you can believe she's still 65 years old. Oh. So since I she wanted to be up there again, you want to talk to my mama, I want to talk to Speak for my mama, Sandra. Everybody knows Sandra. Everybody knows Sandra. Yeah, that's all right, though. But one thing about Sandra, my children are going to get their plates first. So I just want to talk to them. Even even e even so me too. So that's how we need the place. We need to drop on something, have a package delivered. Yeah, that's right. Children get out of school early. She is the go-to person for this family. Yeah. Everything you need to know, you go over there. And that's how it's always been. She took down me a place. And as for me, my place in the family, I feel like I've been, I've had so many families in the family. I was at the Lee house on the weekends. I was by my Auntie Dolores on the weekends. I was everywhere. By my Auntie Cora house. Everybody loved him. And I was the girl that went. And even though my mom used to play calls, and she wasn't a ballroom woman. She used to get. And I always came with my food. All right. And my Insta Chris. Sunny Delight, Sunny Delight. And my money. So everybody would take me. Shane was just like my big sister. Always. Yes. Janice would take me everywhere. And oh. I used to take Janice down with right. uh, color struck. But I only took Simon with me because he was white. Any of all her children should say, I only take Simon because he likes it. Because you know I don't really like children. You know <laughs> On the show. Even though my mom had three girls, so she no, it's we got second you Terry. We also had Lenny. That's right. Lenny was with us. Oh, yeah. We shared the bunk bed with Tasha. <laughs> we always won't control the TV. Because see, I'm going to be on the phone and I'm going to watch I was going to see. And my child is taken right behind me. <laughs> and my mama takes care of even my husband. Richard oh. is like the son she never oh. had. Richard, there he is. Get us another committee, and this time we want a representative from each family on the committee. 
social media. So that way, you can come and give your family, you know, ideas and stuff like that. And everybody can be represented. So y'all get to have a good time and share the last with us. So, okay. Hold on, let me pass the mic to my uh, person in charge. <laughs> my co-producer. To represent Linda Heard is Jerlinda Heard, also known as Linda Booth. Yeah. Hey, hey. hey, I'm so glad everybody's here. I'm going to talk about my mom, Linda, but I also want to talk about my Uncle Calvin and my Auntie Wayne. I spent the time, the years that I wasn't living with my Auntie Sandra, I was living with my grandmother. But my Uncle Calvin and my mama sometimes, and Wakey came every day. Wakey was there when I was small. Me and my grandma, every night, Wakey was in college, in night school. And me and my grandma waiting up for Wakey every night. She couldn't go out after school. She had to come straight home. We were sitting on the, by that, if everybody remember the four bedroom, they had a table by the window with a chair. We were sitting there waiting on Wakey. And it was a, maybe about two years ago, I was sitting down talking to Wakey, and she was like, Jalinda, you just don't know I had you all the time. Every time Tyrone called and said, I'm coming get you, she said, I had to tell her, well, you know I got Jalinda. <laughs> and I couldn't remember, but when she told me this, I'm like, she said, I had you with me all the time. And I feel like I was raised by everybody. My mama, she was. She okay, y'all gonna, 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 gonna love what I'm gonna say. But she was not. Y'all gonna love what I'm gonna say. Of my mother, and I'm being honest. She, she was around, but my grandma raised me. I slept in a bed with my grandma as I, as I grew up. This woman was tickling me under the cup. Y'all know the hard out there, but I know a little bit of the cup. <laughs> you know, she tickled me under the cover at night. You know. We talked in the morning when they came for the stone. Every day I went by her house after work. We get in the corner and we shoot shooting. She telling me something and Wanky getting mad. <laughs> she been there all day. She ain't talking to me. You come in, she shoot shooting. But my mama, she, she look, I was her. Sometimes she used to call me pumpkin. I didn't like it. But I was her only child. I loved her. I still love her. I miss her. I miss my grandmother. I miss Wanky. Kelvin. Kelvin. Kelvin, come in there. He started all this trouble. He fixed these eggs that look like pancakes. <laughs> Myself. My grandma stole for Look, I mean, I don't want to hear that though. I don't want to hear that. Oh, you come in there, you're like, Lenise. Lenise. I got five You got five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was like, he was way, he was older, but living in the house with Kelly, he had his little mix of friends. I had mine. My mom, my mom, everybody. It was just it was all love. It wasn't nothing that my grandmother wouldn't do for me. And then I moved to Sanford. Sanford bought me my first bed. I didn't have my own bed until I moved to Sanford. Oh, that's right. Everything she bought for her children, she bought for me. You know, when she ordered the J.C. Penny outfits out the catalog, J.C. Penny. I had the outfits just like Tony had. Them. <laughs> I, I was in a birthday club, my mom, I took my mama's spot in the birthday club, and that was my school club. I was always very resilient with money, and I knew I had to keep it, and everybody took care of me when I went away to college, you know, people put in money, the leaks hit me food stamps, I remember, everybody breathing my hands, and whenever they came. And I just want y'all to know I love everybody. I don't, I don't, I have not forgotten anything. I remember everything. I appreciate everything. And it's nothing that I couldn't do that if I had, if I could do it, y'all got it. It's always been like that with me. I always just love, love, and love my family more. And anybody who had a problem with my family, I had a problem with them. And it was just because y'all all I had. I didn't have my 
mom and my dad in my own house. I had the whole her family. Right. Going by the little boy. The I ain't talking about you too much till they want me around. But I used to go by the little all the time. Jenny. Oh. Christine lived next door. Oh. I'm I can't you know, wait to I say it on all y'all behalf. I'm saying on all y'all behalf. Y'all, all I have.